Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be me talking about how much my makeup kit actually costs. Before I go into this video, let me know down below what your guess is of how much my makeup kit actually costs. If you guys are looking for this video to be my in-depth version of what my freelance kit is right now, this is not what this is going to be. But if you guys are looking for a really updated version of my freelance makeup kit, it's on my IGTV on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna check out that, my Instagram is at jm underscore artistry and I can link it here for you guys. In this video, I'm just going to be covering costs only. So the first thing that I included in here is my Glamcore Multimedia Light, and that's the lighting system that I carry with me in case anybody was wondering. It is this guy right here. So this is normally $490, and I do know that I for sure paid about $300 for it. That was probably the priciest lighting system I think that I've ever known of. Next, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to show this to you guys because I'm using it right now. Let me flip the camera around. As you guys can see, this is my really interesting filming setup right now. <laughs> this whole entire camping chair came off of Amazon and this guy was $99.99. This supports about 300 pounds. It's made out of aluminum. It's really lightweight to carry around. Sorry guys, I'm really not prepared. I had to grab a couple other things here. The next thing is my brush belt. This guy is $19.99. That's actually what I paid for it, but apparently this guy has now raised its price on Amazon. Um, it's now like $30, but I paid $19.99. I looked at my original invoice of what I paid for it, and that's how cheap it was originally. <laughs> I didn't include any of my brushes in the price of this, so keep in mind that this could literally add like a few hundred extra dollars on here. So this whole entire Relevel bag here. It came off of Amazon. This guy was $69.99, so about $70 that I paid for this guy. It just has this top section that you can put like palettes and stuff in right down at the bottom, flip it up, and there's all these dividers on the inside of it. Then the next thing I wanted to go over was my brush canister. So this is the Makeup Forever Danny's pouch. It looks like this. This guy is a total of $31. It is very sturdy. I like the fact that you do have these attachments so you don't like lose one side. Just clips right there. Okay, I'm gonna try to not complicate things, but um, I just basically started grouping things into categories at this point in time. This is all of my magnetic palettes. I have four of the Artist Kit Company palettes, one of the Tarte magnetic palettes, and then I have this Makeup Forever palette. This is the extra large magnetic palette. So all of my magnetic palettes all together cost $139. And as you can tell, we're kind of moving into organizational sort of things. Amazon bottles. So all of the bottles, I mean, as in like the spray bottles um, or like these little squeezy bottles, things like that. All of these I got off of Amazon. So I kind of just grouped them all into one category. All of those little bottles are $29.49. So not bad for those at all. I feel like when you get things off of Amazon, they're a little bit more cost efficient. Then I have Amazon organizers. They're like these plastic things. Everybody always wonders what these are, by the way. They're actually pencil holders for like desk organizers. Also, I will be putting links for everything below just to let you guys know in case you guys were like wanting to pick these up. All of these organizers, this one, this one, um, this little tub, the tub that this is sitting in, and this whole thing is a five piece organizer set from Amazon. So all of that is included in this whole like organizer from Amazon thing. I think that this one and then this one right here, group that in with the Amazon stuff technically, but they're actually Muji containers. All of those Amazon organizers and the Muji containers that I mentioned are a total of 106.36. Next thing is my tools. The things that I classified as my tools are like cuticle scissors, my palette, my spatulas, lash glue, things like that. The tools are a total of $93.95. I'm moving on to disposables. I told you, I got like everything in here. Oh, this box also was in the containers category too. This also came from Amazon. I know this is probably like the most popular thing on my channel. It's actually a fishing tackle box for fishing lures. All of these guys that are in here, cotton pads and also the sponges, all those are in my disposables category. And that is a total of $34.95. I do get the sponges from CVS, but besides that, all the rest of the stuff came from Amazon in bulk. Next are all my sanitizing products. So this includes like my brush cleaner, my alcohol spray, um, hand sanitizer, things like that. And that is $39.77 altogether. 
Now we are moving into the makeup portion. Just sit down for this if you guys aren't. Also, I wanted to mention as I go forward here, keep in mind that I did not buy this all at one time. It literally took the last four years of me building up this kit. You don't actually need to spend this much money on your kit. Like I have all high-end products in my kit. So of course it's gonna be more costly than like a starter makeup kit where you're just using maybe drugstore products. I feel like my kit though is pretty condensed and I don't have a ton of products in the grand scheme of things. I mean, I've seen makeup artists haul around like five of these relevant bags and I'm just like I don't understand. Okay I'm gonna stop ranting here and go into primers and skincare. Some of these are travel size items so like um, I only counted like the travel size of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base because that's what I bought. I didn't account for what I didn't spend my money on so this is like a pretty realistic cost. On primers total I spent $292. I feel like that's not bad in the grand scheme of things. I'm not one to keep like a bunch of skincare with me though. I have multiple different primers but they have skincare items built into them. This made me want to cry. Um, this is my foundations category. Be prepared guys. This is like a really hefty expense. So I feel like when people are starting to build their kit, it's like they slowly realize how expensive things actually are. For instance, you go into stores like Sephora or something, and then you buy yourself like a $36 foundation and you're like $36, no problem. But then when you build a makeup kit, you have to have foundation colors for every single skin tone. I'll go over the foundations really quickly for what I have. And I will do like an in-depth version of this here pretty soon, but I just wanted to show you guys how many foundations I actually carry with me. I first of all have the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundations. I have six of these guys total. And then I have the Face Atelier Foundations. So I have 10 of those completely. Three of those are shade adjusters. I also have the NARS Natural Radiant Foundations, five of these. And they're normally like in big glass jars. And I almost forgot about this, but I do have a foundation palette. I have this guy right here. This is the RCMA VK11 palette. The other thing I forgot to mention that I did add in that foundations category is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I actually combined shades one and four and put it in the same tube. Ready for the grand total? You ready? I don't think you're ready for it. $1,104. Then the next category is concealers. I have the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. They're the multi-sculpting ones. So I have six of those. Those are the only concealers that I have in my kit right now. Those were a total of $191.97. I feel like that wasn't that bad. Then for my brows category, Category. This is the smallest category as far as makeup goes, so this wasn't as traumatic. <laughs> All I have for brow products is my Anastasia Brow Freeze, and then I have the um, brow book right here. That was $111. That wasn't that bad. As far as face powders, anything that's like a natural face color, if that makes sense. For face powders, I have a translucent powder right here. Then I also carry some in like these little pump containers, and those are all Huda Beauty powders, and I have one Laura Mercier powder in there too. Oh, and then one Juvia's Place powder. Then I also have those two Ket Cosmetics foundation palette. The face powders were $470. Going on to my bronzer section. So this was mainly just adding my um, hourglass bronzers. I just have two of them. And then I also do have the Patrick Ta sculpting powders in here. So I have the creams and the powders that I depotted. And then when I added it, it totaled to 206. Then for blushes, I don't know why, but I always get carried away with blushes for some reason. Like I almost went on to Sephora today because they're having a 20% off sale and I almost bought like a whole nother set of blushes. I don't even know. Somebody please stop me. I have these MAC Glow Play blushes. I have four of them total that I bought. Then I have three of the Hourglass blushes. That was $306.50. Going on to highlighters. So I do own one liquid highlighter that I pretty much mix into a lot of people's foundations. So I actually use the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I do have MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. I have two of them. I have this one right here. And then I also have this guy right here. Deeper skin tone. I have my Bobbi Brown highlighter. Between those, they are 162 altogether. I didn't feel like that was that bad. This is the category that kind of scared me a little bit because I honestly thought that I spent like way more than this. This is the eyeshadows category. So I do have two view set palettes. I depotted one completely. And then I also have another one like this. And then I added up every single one of my eyeshadows that I have in this magnetic palette here. And those are the only eyeshadows that I carry with me. I really don't have a crazy amount of eyeshadows or anything. I spent $578 on all the eyeshadows in my kit. Eyeliners and mascara. So eyeliner category is literally a neutral nude color, which I hardly ever use, a black and a brown. And then I have a gel liner. <laughs> That's what I use. And then I also have a L'Oreal mascara in here. Oh, I didn't include false lashes in the price of this either because I cycle through false lashes so often, like I can't even keep track of like individual ones. For eyeliners and mascaras, the total was 65.24. Next is lip liners. I actually 
spent way more than I thought I would on lip liners for some reason. So lip liners, I spent $193.20. Please explain to me why I almost spent $200 on lip liners, guys. Next is my lipstick category. So pretty much for my lipsticks, it is these two palettes right here. I don't really have a lot of things in here. For lipstick, I spent $271. Okay, so that is it for all of these separate categories. And I pretty much added literally everything inside of this kit, minus my false lashes, and then also minus the brushes. I want to finally announce the grand total. Drum roll, please. The total of everything was $4,943.28. I actually don't think I did that bad. I honestly thought that my total would be somewhere between six to $7,000 for some reason. But again, keep in mind that I have restocked on things several different times. Let me know if you guys were right in your comments down below. <laughs> just curious to know if you guys went way over, or way under, or were just right at the limit there. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button button down below. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right. Bye.